think will bring to end the crisis that has plagued our constituencies, like somebody rightly said, for over 90 years. Let me start by truly thanking the two governors for what they have been able to achieve thus far in ensuring that some relative calm and order has been restored in our constituencies in spite of the skirmishes that erupt now and then if they have not consistently over the last couple of months been engaging the two communities and themselves and their governments in ensuring that the path of peace and sanity prevail, probably we would have had a major escalation of this problem. So I want to commend the two governors and their governments for doing a great job. And by extension, also the traditional institutions of these two great historically rich communities. For what you have been able to do so far, and to encourage you that there is so much more ground to be covered so that we can have an enduring and sustainable peace in our communities. On a lighter mood, I come from what constitutes now Adamawa State. But at the time, our brothers and sisters came from the then Benue Plateau State to join us and created what became Gongola State. Believe you me, we never knew the difference between the Jukun and the Thief people. As far as we were concerned, those of us that were from what happens to be Adamawa State now, or those of us that constituted part of the Muri and Adamawa province, which was the, 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 the bulk of what constituted Adamawa State, I mean Gogola State, we never knew the difference. As far as we were concerned, you were one people who had come from a foreign land to join us and start a home which was called Adam, I mean Gongola State. We looked at you from the same perspective. We saw you as brothers who had even come to dominate us. We rumored that you stopped midway and even increased your skills and your grades before you joined the civil service of the then Gongola State. Because most of you came because you had the privilege of going or belonging to, uh, I mean, you're having Western education come to your place much earlier than us. We felt that you came with an advantage that we had to do a lot of catch up to make sure that you did not overwhelm and swallow us up. I don't know what must have happened along the way, but for us, you are kin and kid. You are brothers and sisters. And that was the window and the perspective from which we gauged you and we saw you. And it was out of self-preservation that we always wanted to come together to protect ourselves from you. So your Royal Highnesses, your Excellencies, I have come today as one of you to encourage you to pursue the path of peace. Because without peace, there will be no meaningful development in our communities. I have heard what the two former Senate Presidents said and uh, uh, the Ambassador that for them to stand on this podium and talk about Benue State and talk about the issues related to the conflict between Jukun and Benue, I mean a Jukun and Tiv, it kind of diminishes their stature because they are elder state. These are people who have served this country who can rightfully claim to the top 
most office in this country. And today, because we have allowed minor issues overcome our sense of judgment, our pursuit for brotherliness, our pursuit for sharing as a community and as a people, we've reduced ourselves to discussing conflicts that we can easily sit as we are sitting here today and walk out of this place with a resolve and a determination that this conflict has come to cessation and the path of prosperity and growth in our community will be evidence in no distant future. On our part, that of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, we knew that there was this process, but we needed to ginger and ensure that it's fast track because it was not moving at the speed at which it was moving. And the president, while in Japan, after the last incidents, directed that we should speak to the governors and cause a publication that should ensure that if this process was slowly grinding to a halt, it should be given a new momentum so that we can deal with these issues. And I saw him before I came here. I came here much earlier and took an excuse because I had an appointment with him. And after discussing state matters, I decided to give him an update. And I can assure you that he's fully behind whatever resolutions the people will reach in terms of finding lasting solution to this intractable problem. On our part at the federal level, we will facilitate whatever you decide. Because whether you want to agree or not, the resolution for these issues can only come from the people that are directly involved in finding resolutions of this issue. No peace can be foisted on a people that are unwilling to have peace. So it is the primary responsibility of the people that are involved, assisted by the two state governments and also the major traditional institutions. As far as I'm concerned, the traditional institutions that are represented here today, the Totiv and the Akuka, in terms of spiritual authority over these communities, you exercise. In terms of even political control over these communities, I'm not talking about the institutions of government, you exercise. You are worth a law unto these communities. And if you speak and preach peace, and detect peace, the people will honor your word because they know that you hold that esteemed place in their lives and in their places. So I would close with these remarks that your excellencies do not relent, do not be tired. Finding peace and sustaining peace is a painstaking process. Every issue that would facilitate our having peace in Taraba State and by extension, like it was rightly observed, if Taraba is boiling, Benue cannot sleep well. We must do everything. We should not trivialize any issue. Any issue that has got an emotive connection to people, we should try as much as possible to address it so that when the peace is finally achieved, it will be sustainable and our people would have prosperity in their areas. If there's any region that is deprived, we fall within that region that has seen deprivation, that has seen conflicts. We cannot continue to allow this conflict to perpetuate itself because that means we will not have anything to bequeath to the generation that is yet unborn. With these very few remarks, I would appeal to each and every one of you that as we step out of this place, let's go as ambassadors of peace after the pattern of the Totiv, who served as ambassador of peace before he even ascended the esteemed throne of his ancestors. 
and pursue peace and speak peace, we should cease from propagating anything that will give examples of an encouragement to conflict and war. We would stand with you. We would do everything within the instrumentality of government facilities and actions that are supposed to be taken. After you have resolved the issues you want us to address, we will take them up. And I want to assure you that government will not fail you because we desire peace within that region. Thank you and God bless you. I know he will use it, but I want to speak.